Jeeps is saddled and ready to go. About a couple more minutes, and we'll be there and ready. We had to come. Ready Bye. here. Oh, Bob. Hang on. Hey, Brian. Huh? Go over and take a picture of what what is Bob. Ready? Hey, just antsy. Your horse again. Can't see anything. Right, does that turn the eyepiece a little? This eyepiece back here. Yeah. I don't see it. Oh, I know. Oh, I. Dad, you had a plan. Huh? You hit the record button. My word. I got it. I think I just got an idea to tie that pole on. I think that's going to give us great problems if I don't do something. Yeah, I think. You know, we borrowed much to say. Just waiting to go. All this stuff, so. Move over. So I can figure out if they watch this movies how to do this kind Move of forward. stuff. Yep, I reckon so. Bobby <laughs> and his wonderful meal, Dugan. Well, the only thing missing is Bobby. Yep, Bobby. Down, he's down. We were headed up to Schultz Lake and we come along the trail and found this down tree here. You always want to carry a like an axe or a pack saw with you. A little saw like this in your in your uh, saddle bag. That way Keep sawing, Brian. Like Watch your hand. You come to a tree like this or down in the trail. You got something to work with him, but Brian's got this little saw here. That Brian, keep sawing. Don't do that. It'll go. Got one kid with a broken leg. I don't need one with a finger off. There she goes. Uncle Frederick would be proud of you. Keep sawing. Well, we found out what Brian's going to do when he grows up. Yeah. He's going to be on the trail for the U.S. Forest Service. Well, Bobby, this is Upper Schultz Lake. Sure wish you were here. Right now, you're probably hurting like heck. August 26th, huh? Needed Bobby here to punch in the date on this thing. 
This is uh, partly cloudy and warmer, according to Mike Hurd. Mountains surrounding our camp are covered in snow. White fog. A thing Robbie hitched up with a lashing. Nice and everything. What we're doing here is building a little lean to or a A frame tent, put our back boxes and stuff in, and then Brian's going to sleep in here tonight. But we no, I... when we do this when we're out camping, does us a nice job, works real well for us right there, like this. It never snows after you go to this trouble. Never ever. That's what that guy in that video said. What? When he's saying something. Oh, what he always says. This, this really does me a nice job. He tries to act and then gets out and goes. Boy, what? When you're building an A-frame structure like this, you should always use, uh, you know, uh, find down timber for your poles. Don't cut down the nice green trees that, that for, leave it for the other campers and stuff. And, and it will make the Forest Service mad and the Earth First is mad. But in our case here, we looked and looked and looked for at least 10 minutes for dry trees or old down poles and couldn't find anything that wasn't rotten. So we ended up cutting down new trees. But Steaks. Dad's cooking up. There's mine. There's Robbie's. We're so glad he's here. Right. <laughs> Not here. I mean, <laughs> wonderful job. Dad. We miss you, Bob. <laughs> Don't worry, Bob. We're cooking a steak for you, too, and we're going to airbrush you in the film later. Yeah, we just kind of going to brush you in. You'll be here. Dog chow. How come this thing won't focus? These are... What's tonight? I don't think there's enough there for three. Okay, Brian. What are you cooking there, bud? Brian! How's it going? Good! Brian, what's in the fry pan over on the stove over there? Lift the lid there. Let's see. What do we got there? Tuffy's dog chow. <laughs> what is it? Tuffy's dog chow. I see. Okay. Now what do you got in this pot down here, Brian? What do we got in there? Your dog chow. <laughs> like onions and potatoes. And... <laughs> Put out your cigar, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Battery light's flashing. What's and this is the same evening after it snowed. They're in a cloud in the sky. It's the same place where it snowed. Yeah, it was this morning. It was snow white. You remember? You remember. It's a few minutes ago. You'll remember. Battery's flashing. What is it? Is it bad when it's flashing? No, it's bad. Oh well, yeah, the band was flashing, but we have it will last for tonight. A purple blue sky, although I can't see it through this dumb camera. There's the mountain. And believe it or not, these are the mountains you saw covered in snow this morning. And there is the little tent we set up that you saw earlier. I'm going to say goodbye. During the night, dark blue sky and a oh, nice bright moon. Enough with the side comments back there, okay? Hi, Bob. Wish you were here, Bob. Sorry you broke your leg.
hope you're doing good. We're worried about you. where we're staying is just on the other side. What do you see, Brian? It's called High Alpine Lake. You call it? Lake Tahiti. This is Joaquina Lake, Bobby. We got to take the horses right over. That pass. Right through there. And we saw some goats right up in there. Awful windy. Awful windy. That's Lone Mountain over there. That's Joaquina Lake. We just had lunch right down on that beach there 20 minutes ago. We just came over this pass called, what's it called, Brian? No, Rock Creek Pass. Now we're looking down into the Tahipia Lake. Pretty lake. Hold still, Gray. Jeez, you're gonna make everybody seasick at home. Well, I've been avoid saying this, but I'm gonna just say it once. Brian says, <laughs> these pictures just won't do this trip justice.
Robbie fell off his horse today in the big muddy swamp. What are you doing, Bri? I just don't know where all these No, help me it right. You got it recording.